The quad unwrap tool is made to unwrap a selection in a specific rectangular way that can be used for panel trims. It's a combination of three different unwrapping approaches. The first, and most simple one, is chosen for all quad selections. You may be aware of Blender's own tool for that, called Follow Active Quad. So let's see what it does. You can notice that the unwrapped faces don't resemble the actual face proportions, instead all faces are unwrapped as squares. To avoid this, you would first use the Unwrap tool to unwrap a single face, then use the Follow Active Quad tool to unwrap the other connected faces. And so you can do the same, but with a single click on the Quad Unwrap tool. Now let's see what happens on this section, on the top of the object. Just running Follow Active Quad gives us the square faces again. And first manually unwrapping a single face, then running Follow Active Quad will now unwrap in this non-rectangular way, and the reason is, the initial face was a trapezoid. You could definitely use this in some situations, but the outsides are increasingly distorted and it will show on panel trims with detail. So to correct for this, you would now have to unwrap the initial face, then make sure it's a perfect rectangle in the UV editor, then run Follow Active Quad again. Or you do it again with a single click, directly in the 3D view using the Quad Unwrap tool. Perfect. Having an all quad selection is the ideal case for panel trims, and it's often absolutely worth the effort to make your selection all quad, even if it means making a few temporary cuts, or removing some edges temporarily. And this all quad, unwrap behavior, of the quad unwrap tool, is for convenience also directly built into the unwrap trim tool. So you will probably rarely use quad unwrap, for selections like this. Cylindrical objects in particular, are just a lot of fun to trim like this. You can go to town on them. This outer loop is again all quad, and so you could easily unwrap that as before. But let's say you have a trim sitting on that loop, turning a face into an end gone. If you were to unwrap this using the unwrap trim tool, you would end up with something like this. Quad Unwrap on the other hand, can deal with this just fine. Note that in this mode of the tool, the selection itself will end up properly rectangular, but the individual internal edges will not be perfectly vertical. That's because the internal circumference in a case like this, is shorter than the outer circumference. And to achieve the perfectly rectangular unwrap, the inner side was simply scaled up to match the outer side. This mode also has no problem with triangles by the way. In fact the entire selection could be made of nothing, but, triangles. To demonstrate this, I will first return to an unusable state again, using the Unwrap Trim tool. No problem for Quad Unwrap. And as always, once unwrapped, you can use the Adjust tool to make changes to the trim. If your selection is not cyclic and you try to quad unwrap, you may get a prompt like this. You should then go into edge mode, and first deselect, then reselect the two edges as shown here. Doing it like this ensures they are at the end of your selection history, so decal machine can find them, and avoids having to mark them in some other way, which would result in loosing the face selection.
then just call quad unwrap again. You can also always manually join separately unwrapped sections by the way. You could then join this using Blender's Weld Tool, Blender's Stitch Tool, or Decal Machine Stitch Tool. Unwrapping this selection including triangles and n-gons so far, was done in the second mode of the Quad Unwrap Tool. And this mode is chosen, when the selection is exactly one face deep. All of this is one face deep, even the triangles. Just one face. Things get a lot more complicated if a selection is multiple faces deep and contains triangles or n-gons. I can't emphasize enough that if you can avoid this, even by adding or removing a few edges temporarily, you should do that. But if you can't or don't want, you can try and see if quad unwrap can work for you. I'm now adding so-called Korean bevels, which will give us the shading of beveled edges without changing the form of the object. And this will also make the trim selection multiple faces deep. You can use Blender's Bevel Tool, Blender's Offset Edge Slide Tool, or Blender's Knife Tool to do these. I'm using Machine Tool's Smart Edge Tool, which picks the Bevel Tool, or the Offset Edge Slide Tool, depending on the topological conditions. The third mode of quad unwrap is limited in that it doesn't support cyclic selections. So you will see this prompt if you attempt to unwrap now. So make it non-cyclic if you want to unwrap selections like these. The result will always be imperfect, but at least it gets you close. So just fix the rogue vertices now. Now, since these rogue vertices change the bounding box of the selection's UVs, the faces weren't fit properly to the trim. So make sure the faces are selected properly, then fit them using the Adjust tool. Press D, A and F in sequence. What's left are these three faces, and they are easy to unwrap. I have to rotate them, and will then just stitch them to the other faces. This third mode of the quad unwrap tool can also tolerate additional edges that aren't part of the quad matrix, edges which create triangles. Although you will have to mark them as seams so they can be recognized. If you don't mark them, you'll see this message to let you know about it.
as expected there are some issues, so fix them manually. In some cases these issues are less pronounced than in this example. But, at least the tool gets you close enough. Maybe I can further improve it in the future. I do the vert alignment using machine tools by the way, but you can also use Blender's aligned tools. If you're finished, don't forget to refit the faces to the trim. And of course, you may also have to deal with distortions, if you want to keep details like these. This is always an issue with trapezoid faces, and I demonstrate how to fix this in the Adjust Trim video.